Hi Scorpio. I am here to do your reading for mid-January 2022. New year. Let's hope it's a wonderful year for everyone. Okay, let's get a spirit animal for you. Let's see what we get. Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. And what that means is you can have the very same thing that will have different meanings for different people. For example, this cloth. Somebody might say, oh, this is a deep olive green. And somebody else might say, well, no, I don't think so. I think it is a grayish green. But it's the very same cloth, okay? So all that is saying is this and that are true. They're both true. It's the same cloth. It's just different people see things differently, okay? And now let's get a Wisdom of the Oracle. And this is a general reading, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? Thank you very much. Okay. Wonderful card. You have building blocks. And what that is saying is you are building on a solid foundation. And you want a solid foundation because whatever you put on a solid foundation will be stable. If it's not a solid foundation, it could be stable and then it could crumble. And then we're going to do something a little bit different this time. We're adding a Lenormand card in and it might have something specific and then it might be a little more general. Let's see what we get. Okay. The moon. Okay. There you go. The moon. Protection. Dreamy. Isolation. Emotions. Karma. The moon is a card with double meanings. It holds a contradiction between the thirst for new experiences, material pleasures, and the need to ponder and rest. It signifies a heightened intuition and a propensity for rethinking the past, especially in terms of traditions and ancestors. This card has to do with the influence of karmic debts on the present. It encourages utilization of talents for career success. The moon cards many positive aspects include innovation, rewards, respect, protection, and comfort. It does have negative meanings too though. It depends on the reading and all the cards with it. Its negative meaning can be indifference, instability, depression, or unrecognized services. But so far, the cards you have look great. Okay, let's see what your overall energy is for this time frame. Okay. All right, here we go. Justice. Be impartial. An objective, stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of the situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. It's I find this really interesting because I see two sides to this. You know, justice, the scales. There's two sides to the dolphin spirit. And there's two sides to the moon. So three of your four cards so far have two different sides. Very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get some cards. Well, we had two that jumped out. Okay, this card can have different meanings. And let's take a few more cards to see what we think it might be. It could be trickery. It could be using your wit. It could also be that you are potentially doing too much for others and not taking care of yourself in the process. And here you have the Queen of Swords. She's very resilient, very smart. She is not interested in the niceties. All she wants is the truth. 
And if you'll notice, she's coming out right underneath the Justice card. Mm-hmm. Okay. Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is learning how to build resources and take care of what they have. And I can see a relationship between this and this, building on a solid foundation. And here you're learning how to take care of your resources. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Pentacles, which talks about success after difficulty. We can take some clarifying cards in just a few minutes. Let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. Let's see what we get. Ah, judgment. You are going through a huge awakening and tuning into a higher frequency. All right. And to me, that could fit in very well with the justice card. But it could fit in very well with other cards here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have the Four of Pentacles. This can have a few different meanings, but this is a card that's kind of controversial. It has some wonderful meanings, and then it's got some not-so-great ones. Like, this can be extremely charitable, which is wonderful. But it can also have other ones that are not so good. Like, this person is holding on tight, very, very tight to their pentacles. But I think it could be anything. It does not have to be pentacles. But energy flows, right? Kind of like a stream or a breeze. It's like she is in a box. So the energy is being held tight, which is not helping, okay? So if you are holding on really tight to something, you need to relax, okay? Try to loosen that grip. Okay, it will serve you much better if you can relax it some. Mm -hmm. Okay, absolutely beautiful. I love this card. This is the Six of Cups, and what this is is a card of nostalgia. It's where you think back from childhood, youth, maybe even a few years ago, and it brings back these warm, wonderful memories that make you smile. But I also feel like this is a card of caring, sharing, and compassion, because here's this person giving this person a cup with a flower in it, and it takes place inside of a community. So it is more than just nostalgia. It is very caring, sharing, and loving. Okay? Now, it does also say, though, that somebody could be coming back from the past. And at the bottom of the deck, you have an ending. This, try to envision this as a storm, right? And when the storm lifts and the sun comes up, it's beautiful. This is where you are dropping those burdens, those emotional burdens. You're letting them go. And it allows the sun to come up and you are free. Okay? You are free to go pursue your happiness. Now, these are thoughts. So if you've had so many stressed, anxious thoughts that's creating an ending, you do need to deal with those and deal with them appropriately, okay? So they will be gone. Give them to the universe, all right? All right. Let's get a clarifying card. For the... I was going to say the Ten of Swords. We have the Empress. And I'm sure what this is saying is because you are getting rid of this negative energy, it's the Empress that is going to come in. Remember I said, by getting rid of this, the storm will pass and the sun will come up and you'll be able to go for your happiness. And look what's there. 
It's being clarified by the Empress. And that is where abundance flows to her. Love flows to her. It's a beautiful energy. She's the mother archetype. So by getting rid of this, you get one of the very best cards in the deck. Abundance, happiness, and joy that flows to you. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get a card for the Five of Pentacles, which is success after difficulty. This one to two. Jump out. The Emperor. Okay. Very, very strong card. The Emperor builds solid foundations from which his success will grow. And you remember this card is talking about building on your solid foundations. So by you pushing forward and putting in all that effort and energy, you are getting the emperor energy, which is extremely strong. And it's all about setting solid foundations so success can come in. All right? Beautiful cards, beautiful clarifications. Oh, and I'm sure you'd like to see this. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. That's from Taking the Emperor, which means that you have a new beginning, and it's one that is going to be lucrative. It could be um, a substantial raise at work. It could be you starting your own business, writing a book, uh, a myriad of things. But it's going to be lucrative. And remember, the Empress... Abundance flows to her. Okay. So now let's take a card for the Seven of Swords and see what that says. If that will shine some light. Okay. Great. Okay. It's the same card as this card underneath the Emperor. Okay, it is saying that success after difficulty, all right? So, remember I said there were three different things it can mean, and my guess is it would be trickery, yeah. Because you have the justice card here for one, okay? Right next to it, you have the truth. All you want is the truth. And this card is this card, which is clarified by the Emperor. And the Emperor, I am sure, is all about the truth, too. Okay, so I would say um, it's probably trickery. Uh-huh. But you were successful over this. It was a challenge, you know, success after difficulty. So this was a challenge, whatever it is. This is something only you will know. Okay. And potentially because of this, you tu you're you tuning into a higher frequency. You're going through this big awakening. Justice is here. You are justice. This is your energy. So if there was trickery, Justice is on your side and everything will be fine. Justice will be served. All about the truth and only the truth. Okay. Here, the Page of Pentacles. Building resources and taking care of what you have. And to me, that fits perfectly on here. So does the Emperor. And you have this card of nostalgia and caring and compassion, and love. And now here, that one just says, relax, don't hold on so tight. Okay? So overall, I think this is a very nice reading. Mm -hmm. You are dropping all of these burdens to gain the Empress energy. Beautiful. You're going through a challenging time, but you're going to be successful. And because of that, you're gaining the Emperor energy. More beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and 
get some cards from the universe, see what they would like to share. Intuition. Okay. Universe is saying you need to use your intuition. And that could be for everything here. You should use your intuition all the time because it's there to serve you, to guide you. And that card says you are in touch with your intuition. So you need to use that, your higher power, and your divine feminine energy. Okay? So let's get another card. Whoa, this one wanted to flip out. Balance. Okay. I do think at one point there wasn't the balance that you needed. This is not a balanced energy. This probably was not balanced, especially if it was trickery. This is not really balanced. It's success after difficulty. So it ends up being balanced, but it's not balanced. So um, you had a few different areas here where you needed balance, but it looks like you are gaining that balance. Okay. Let's get one more card. Beautiful. This is a card of celebration. 1111. You have two wands made out of, or two pillars made out of two wands each, which is crowned by abundance and happiness and joy. And it's saying, come in and celebrate. You're doing a beautiful job. Okay? Things are going well. Come celebrate now. Oh, you might like to see this. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. Which, in this whole reading, I other than potentially here, there wasn't really anything about a romantic situation. But here this is saying, you will most likely meet, if you don't already know, somebody where you will end up with this unconditional love relationship. And it might be romantic, and it might not. It could be a friendship, a colleague. It's just talking about unconditional love, which is beautiful. So it's a very nice reading. And to me, it looks more like life-oriented in general. But it could lean towards the career side. And maybe a little dash of love. Okay, so let's get a charm. Let's see what we get. And I never look so I get teased sometimes. <laughs> no, I'm not being teased. It looks like I am. It's a baby spoon. But what this means is you are going to be starting something new. And it is like a new project. It's kind of like the Empress. You know, she she's a mother archetype. And she has all these ideas. She's very fertile. And she nurtures these ideas. Okay. That's what this kind of symbolizes, that it looks like you're going to be coming up with some idea, unless you already have, and it's going to mean a lot to you, and you're going to take very good care of it, and it will end up being very, very nice, and maybe very lucrative, okay? But it will help provide you with happiness and abundance. Okay, thank you so much. Much love. Bye.